<laughs> just got this plane fresh off the printer. No, I'm just kidding. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can print your own 3D printed plane. So first of all, you'll need a 3D printer with a build volume of approximately this size. If you're wondering what printer I'm using, I'm using a Delta Mini Cossel. You would also need some high quality PLA. Uh, I recommend PLA because it's the easiest to print. And also if you get the right temperatures when printing, it can also be very strong. I also highly recommend that you have experience in building uh, previous model aircraft. I'm not gonna run through all of the details behind the electronics wise. Uh, I will give you the specifications of what I'm using, but again, uh, you will need some experience in model aircraft building to uh, get this to fly. So to start with, you'll need two 9 gram servos. I'll be putting links to all the electronics in the description below. Uh, I'm running a 2205 Emax 2300 kV motor. Uh, it's a quite a common motor for mini quad uh, races, drone races. Uh, I'm running a 6x4.5 uh, propeller. And inside I have a UBAD 30 amp speed controller with a 5 volt regulator to power the servos and the receiver. The receiver will entirely depend on uh, what transmitter you already have or what you're going to purchase. But I'm running the FreeSky Tyrannis with a FreeSky X4R inside. So onto the printer settings. On my 3D printer I have a 0.4mm nozzle and I extrude with a 0.5mm wall thickness. What I recommend you do is experiment with printing the wings uh, all at different temperatures. Most PLA recommend 180 degrees C to 200 degrees C, but I actually found that to get uh, strong enough layer strength, uh, seeing as the wing will be printed vertically, uh, I recommend printing at a lot higher temperature. Uh, for the PLA that I'm using, I'm printing at 215 degrees and I'm printing it really slow so that when it gets round to the next layer, it's not still uh, hot. You really need it to be printing this hot because the layers are printed this way so the strength of the wing uh, really depends on the layer strength of the material. Here is the wing that I printed in my first 3D printed wing video. Uh, this was printed at 200 degrees I believe and uh, if I press down on it you can hear the you can hear the layers coming apart. You might be able to see it as well. So that's, that's what people typically um, recognized PLA you know being like where the the layers just crack apart and this obviously wouldn't be very strong and would most likely snap in flight whereas with this final version that I've done I've printed this at 215 degrees and if I push down on that there's absolutely no cracking sorry excuse the mud marks on it there's absolutely no cracking and it feels like it's one solid material so to run over the uh, printer settings for each part seeing as each part actually requires a different printer setting, uh, I'll just display them here. So the wing settings are as follows. I printed with a 0.5mm wall thickness, 0% uh, infill, this is really important uh, to make sure that the wing is hollow. I have designed it with the ribs uh, installed, so as soon as you put 0% infill, you will actually see the uh, the fins, sorry, the ribs showing up. And to get the layer strength, I printed at 215 degrees uh, at 40 millimeters per second, with the cooling fan turned off. Make sure that you have uh, zero top layers set and zero bottom layers set and one layer uh, outside line set. What I recommend is you have a small uh, skirt around the outside, so just a couple uh, layers just to keep the uh, wing adhered to the, to the bed properly. Uh, because the wing will be standing up on its end, um, there's not much surface area around it. The other parts of the plane, such as the winglets, the elevons, uh, the fuselage and also the canopy cover, uh, can be printed in whatever setting you want. Uh, the settings that I use are as follows, uh, I use 25% infill, uh, two, lay two outer layers uh, and three top and bottom layers. I also printed them at 200 degrees and at 60 millimeters per second because it didn't matter so much about the layer strength. I also had the cooling fan on to speed up the process. So I've designed the parts to print pretty well uh, tolerance wise on my printer so that they all slide together but I can't guarantee they're going to work uh, exactly the same on your printer. So I'd recommend uh, using a file or some sandpaper just to make stuff uh, fit a bit better before you glue them together. So I recommend you start with printing the fuselage first, uh, that way you can get the electronics all installed before uh, printing all of the wing section. If you're planning on using the UBED speed controller or any other kind of uh, drone racing mini quad type speed controller, you would also need a 5 volt regulator, which I've already soldered onto the speed controller. So the first thing you need to do electronics wise is to thread the speed controller through the fuselage and through the rear hole where the motor will be mounted. 
Then you need to solder the motor to the speed controller and pull the wires back through. Once the wires are pulled through tight and the motor sits roughly on the mount, uh, you need a long hex driver. I believe for these Emacs bolts you will need a 3mm hex driver uh, to do up the bolts. So these servos that I've used, uh, the actual servo wire is slightly too short. So I've got these small extension leads, uh, which you can probably just plug together and plug straight into the receiver. However, I prefer just to solder them together just so that if it does come unplugged, it's not a really fiddly job trying to you know, plug them back in inside the fuselage. So once you've installed these servos in the wing and uh, threaded the wire through to the center part, uh, you can start gluing it all together. I used uh, medium CA from Hobby King. Uh, I've tried thin CA but it gets quite runny and also it doesn't fill uh, the holes as well if there is a slight tolerance issue on the uh, sleeve on the wing. So I recommend using medium CA. I wouldn't recommend gluing these servos in. On my wing the servos actually fit in quite nice uh, friction wise with the tolerances and then I just put a layer of tape over the top just to secure them in position. Uh, if you do want to glue them then just be warned, you might not be able to get them back out again. I used some 10mm diameter disc magnets which I purchased from Hobby King. Uh, the canopy simply slides in at the front and then uh, sticks down with the magnets at the rear. The fuselage was originally designed for a 1300mAh 4S battery. However, I actually found out that it was slightly tail heavy with that size battery, so I recommend running an 1800mAh 4S battery. The elevons are simply attached with some uh, packing tape I recommend you get some 3M packing tape because that stuff is really strong and uh, if you get some cheap stuff it doesn't really stick to the PLA that well. The push rods I had were just something that I had laying around uh, but I'll be putting a link in the description to some better ones that you can purchase from Hobby King. So that's pretty much it from the build side of this plane. Uh, I've got all the STL files down in the description below. Uh, it'd be great if, uh, if you do end up printing this please let me know via a YouTube message or contact me via Thingiverse because uh, I'd be really interested to see what you think. If you do end up printing it and also flying it, I'll also be interested in what you think of the flying characteristics because I'd like to uh, modify it slightly to make it fly you know, really nice and maybe even bring out a uh, FPV version of it. I put a lot of effort into the design of this plane so it'd really help me out if you could you know, leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. So before I leave you, here's some footage of the plane in action. See you later. See it very well. Yeah, I can see it every so often. <laughs> you do a lot of editing, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, so bring it for landing then. Okay. Let's get back around again. Thank <laughs> you.